how did you go about um, getting that experience? Like for those SNCs that are still studying and they may have a lecturer that's in the industry um, that they want to get work experience with or, or someone they know that's in the industry, like Darren was yeah. for you. Did, did you approach him um, after a class one time to take a bit of yeah, assistance yeah. To, get, to get the opportunity? Yeah. Yeah, so um, I I suppose because I knew that that was what I wanted to do, and Matt, I was, I'll, I'll acknowledge it. He even says it in my latest book too, um, given that he wrote the foreword for it, and that I was that annoying guy basically who uh, knew what I wanted to do, I was just basically a pest, pestering him at every moment just to – I suppose for me it was just a learning thing and understanding why and, and how we go about it. And one day I just said to him, can I come and, and watch a session or whatnot? And, and he was more than happy. Back in those days it was kind of – uh, I sound really old saying back in those days, but it, uh, it, it was one of those things where uh, interning and stuff like that was few and far between. So Darren clearly was was uh, pivotal in your in your journey. Were there other guys that are top of mind that have helped you along along the way, whether it be mentors or or um, just guys that have helped you uh, during degree, work experience, uh, or even just helped out your programs yourself? Yeah, so. Uh, to be honest, I can't name like there's too many names who have actually, uh, you know, had an impact on on my career and as an individual. Like I, yeah. I kind of uh, went through a stage where every year I liked having uh, a mentor in different facets of my life. So um, whether it be a, a, a mentor for I suppose life, and then a mentor, an S and C mentor, and things like that. So um, I try to reach out for these to these different av- aspects of my life of people who I essentially thought we're doing a good job <laughs> um, yep. and then they, they gave me you know plenty of opportunity you know Brett Bartholomew is one of those guys um, but I suppose from a, a pivotal moment in my career uh, I can't thank Lockie Wilmot enough. Then you decided to become an author mate how did that come about? <laughs> <laughs> uh, over the 17 years of working in the field I've, I've just been asked and anyone who has worked in the youth space would resonate with this in that you get asked the same questions over and over and over and nothing changed from 2003 from when I was doing it through to 2020 at the time. I was still getting asked the same questions from friends and family members and things like that and I thought there's no actual real resource out there that is just like just keeps it real and explains how it all works from the development space all the way through into professional sport but more importantly just the benefits of sport and being physically capable to engage in sport can actually deliver in the real world. What were some of those questions? I guess three of them maybe that um, yeah, yeah, parents, absolutely, parents yeah. were asking. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so one of them is was simply just how much is like how much is too much training for my kid. Uh, yeah. Supplements are a big thing too. So you know, should my son be taking supplements, and if so, at what age? The resistance training one is a huge one. Um, a variety of different factors, whether or not it be for boys, you know, the whole thing of stunting their growth and whatnot, which we all know is, you know, absolute fallacy. Um, so to, to clear the air with that and then also to, I suppose, to empower female athletes coming through, letting them know that, um, you know, there's so much things to do with body image and everything like that these days that uh, I really wanted to cater the book to the female market as well and I was really yep. conscious of that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so they're they're the topics that just continually come up time and time again, and then and the role with with Brisbane. How long have you been in that directing um, role? And, and explain a little bit the program for those that aren't aware of what the high school is doing. Yeah, so uh, I was fortunate enough to end up being uh, coming through with the goods, I suppose, in the interview process at the back end of last year, and it was a bit of a turbulent time to get up here, and I ended up relocating up here with my uh, partner and son in January. So we'd started in January and uh, I've got a really cool team of uh, the school's gone about it a very different way. I haven't seen anything, a model like they have because they're an extremely academic school um, and the way that they integrate their uh, performance development into the actual academic day to allow not only uh, the students to continue with that academic success in the way that they've structured their, their day to include it as part of the day so that there's not so much before school and after school training. 